Ultrasound is a great tool in cardiac arrest, but it can also cause harm. Today, we're talking about two things I love, cardiac arrest and ultrasound. Ultrasound can be a super helpful tool because during cardiac arrest, it can help you to identify reversible causes and fix those problems first. But the problem with ultrasound is it takes time from good high quality compression. So you should only be doing it during a rhythm check and should be less than 10 seconds in duration. And that's all fine and good, but a study that I'll reference in the show notes demonstrates that the rhythm check using ultrasound can go on for up to 21 seconds seconds, that means the person is getting chest compressions and that isn't good. So how do you balance using an advanced tool like ultrasound during cardiac arrest and making sure that you're minimizing hands off the chest? Here's three simple tips that you can use to make sure that doesn't happen. Tip number one, and you should use this whether or not you're using ultrasound or not using ultrasound, is make sure that the charge nurse is counting backwards from 10 at the beginning of the rhythm check. This lets everyone know in the room where you are in the rhythm check. It should be less than 10 seconds long. So when I'm doing ultrasound, I hear we're getting to five, four, three, I know it's time to wrap it up and get the ultrasound probe off the chest so we can resume chest compressions. If I didn't get all the information I need, that's okay. Next rhythm check. The next tip is going to tick off a lot of people, but that's okay. Only the most experienced person in the room should be doing ultrasound. Because this is a test of speed and accuracy, this is not the time for the medical student or the first year resident to learn how to do ultrasound on the patient at cardiac arrest. You need the fastest and most expert person in the room to do the ultrasound because every second of that rhythm check counts. And the last tip is that as you're taking those clips, do do not interpret what you're looking at. This is a time for you to just hit the clip button. Just get the information that you need, clip, 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 and then get off the chest. Then during the next round of compressions, look back at those clips and start making interpretations. I've been doing ultrasound for a long time. You find something interesting and start to scratch your chin and you don't realize that the seconds are counting down. The use of ultrasound during a code is to help find reversible causes and help augment the code. The last thing you want to do is spend so much time doing ultrasound that you're taking away from the things that the patient needs, which is good old fashioned CPR. For the ultrasound pros out there, any tips that I left out, please drop them in the comments. And those are the reasons why 